For more beauty tips, check out MakeupGameOnPoint.com. Y'all already know if I'm doing a favorites video, then it must be something real. Welcome back guys. If you are new here, I'm Jackie, AKA Makeup Game On Point. And like I said earlier, I rarely do favorites videos. So when I do one, it's usually something I'm really, really raving about. And boy, do I have tons and tons of stuff that I have been kind of like, I mean, you guys have seen me rocking it and using it, but I just never really, I have, it's been a couple months since I've done one of these types of videos. So get some popcorn, have a seat, and we're gonna lay it all out, honey, because I've got quite a, quite a bit of products. I hope you like long videos. <laughs> Welcome. So I have tons and tons of lip products. I'm wondering if I should just go into those first. Yeah, why not? Sure. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is ColourPop Cosmetics. Their lip, lippy sticks is what they call them. And their liners are amazing. For those of you guys that aren't familiar with them, they're basically a line of shadows. They have lipsticks and the lipsticks and shadows are $5. Yes. Without a coupon code, Without Black Friday, they are $5 all year round. And I'm talking about an amazing quality line of product. Not at all chalky, not at all cheap, long wearing, very, very pigmented. The lipsticks, like I could not be more satisfied with the lipsticks. And I love the fact that for each lipstick, you get a corresponding liner that's the exact same shade. So the next product that I wanted to talk about is another lipstick. And this should come at no surprise to some people because I've actually been rocking this all month. And I featured this in quite a few different videos. These are the Ultra Matte Lip Creams from Magnolia Makeup. The only, literally the only long wearing lip cream that dries to a matte finish that's not patchy, it's not drying on the lips, could not, like if I bottled up a red in a liquid matte form, it would not be half as pretty as this one. I don't know how the hell they do it, this little small business from Louisiana that's doing amazing, amazing things for women of color in the makeup world, they are just like completely kicking, like blowing everything out of the water. And their products are not that expensive at all. I want to say I paid $12. My favorite is Matador. It's this one. It's kind of similar to what I'm wearing now. It's a deep red. And I put this on. I don't have to worry about reapplying period. I know this is going to sound really bad, but when you're like me, you're always talking, licking your lips, always doing like something with your mouth. Like I am, I know really bad habit, but that really counts. You know, stuff like this, it really, really does come in handy. Sometimes I may reapply it. Like if I, if I drink something or if I've been like messing with my lips or sometimes I may have to reapply it. But honestly, for the most part, you're good. And I mean like hours, like some of these long wearing lip colors just do not hold up and it's so frustrating because it's like why would you call your product a long wearing product if it ain't you know like just go out of business already um speaking of the magnolia another lip product i'm you guys are probably sick of these damn lip products but i can't help it i love the lips i really do these are the Too faced i almost dropped it these are the Too faced melted lip lacquers ah Y'all don't know what these do to me. Like I, I'm addicted. I am addicted to these. Do you guys think I'm lying? When I, can I just say, let's, let's keep it all the way real about favorites. I'm going to be honest. We all know that people make these videos and they're dishonest. People lie on YouTube all the time. Let's, it is what it is. Like you guys see it. I see it. For some people it's human nature. Like someone gave this product for free. Of course you love it, right? Not the case with me, okay? I got too much damn makeup, not enough time. You could not pay me enough to just sit in front of this camera and just BS. Like, I'm I'm just calling it what it is. I'm just being very honest with you. I am, I think I'm kind of like more into lip products just because I use them the most often. I'm a lip junkie. I kind of feel like that's the one thing that I collect the most. But I'm not by any means talking about these products just for the sake of talking about them. No one, I, no one has paid me to review any of these products. And the only thing that I can say is ColourPop sent me their products, but you can't influence me to like it. You know how much free makeup I get? Do you really know how much free makeup I get offered? Like you'd be, you would really be surprised. And I'm constantly giving things away that I know I'm not gonna use, but don't touch my ColourPop. You ain't getting my ColourPop. But anyway, I just wanted to have that moment with you guys because I think it's very important to maintain 
honesty and integrity it's just I really 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 do like these products deliver like I'm not going to I mean of course some people are gonna find something that they don't like about a product I can't control that but I'm giving you my word that if you try these products you are not gonna be disappointed Too Faced melted is another one of those products long wearing long can we just say amen for long wearing products can we just say amen for not having to reapply that's probably the only thing like I rarely even blot my face I have oily skin I rarely ever blot my makeup throughout the day lips are the only thing I really have to tamper with once my makeup is done all throughout the day and so these products have just made my life so much easier and that's that's the type of stuff that I like spending my money on like these Too Faced melted lip lacquers not gonna lie they're a little pricey but totally a justifiable purchase and a teensy bit of these goes a long way I think that these are somewhat comparable to like the OCC lip tars in regards to how they have a glossy they apply glossy but then they dry to like a satin matte finish in some ways but I like these better in a way I kind of feel like they're not as opaque as OCC lip tars they're not as oh how can okay they're opaque out of the applicator but they dry more shearing if that makes sense does that make sense so I don't know if you guys have noticed but I've been trying a new foundation technique lately where I shouldn't say technique but a new foundation tool and I picked up the Sigma flat kabuki f80 you can thank Anitra for this purchase because I saw her review on it a couple months ago and I kind of put it on my back the back of my mind of things that I wanted to try so I finally got around to purchasing this and to be honest with you this is a really really good brush it's even got some weight on it so you can tell it's good quality it seems to be a very good quality made brush the only gripe that I have about the brush is it is a teensy bit expensive it is a bit expensive for a Sigma foundation brush. However, for those of you guys that, look, I'll just say this, if you already have, if you feel like you already have a great foundation brush, I wouldn't run out and buy this. If you are contemplating getting this and it's kind of like lingering in your car, you're not really too sure if you want to try it out and take the plunge. Cause I, I want to say I paid like 37 bucks for it. So it's expensive. It, it definitely is kind of a pricey brush. But like I said, if you are contemplating buying this brush, I would definitely say go for it. I think you do get your money's worth. It just seems like a really well constructed brush. And if I mean pricing is price is one thing. What I what I'm always concerned about or what I'm looking for in products is am I getting my money's worth? You know, like I can't control how much they're gonna charge for the, the product, but is it worth $35? This one kind of is. I do think it could be cheaper, but it's not outlandish like I'm not paying 37. No, it's definitely it's definitely justifiable and foundation brushes typically are a little bit more expensive than all the other all other brushes anyway just because they're more dense so you're paying for more hair so why don't we just go ahead and start talking about face products oh 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 my god my holy grail foundation and I'm not just saying this just to be saying it you guys y'all y'all ain't ready maybe I was late on the bandwagon no one told me or, or gave me the memo like I must have missed the memorandum on this one but the Stila Stay All Day is no joke, a stay all day foundation. Nobody told me I wasn't ready. I got a sample of this first from Sephora because my friend Kevin raved about it. And I was just thinking, how different can it be from the other 50 foundations I have? Because I have, I'm a foundation junkie, so I've tried a lot. Honestly, because I have oily combination skin, I'm always looking for something that's going to help control the oil, not make me more shiny throughout the day. This stuff right here, the first day I tried it, I got, I, I, I took my sample and I put it on in the morning and I got home and I was, I walked by a mirror and I was like, hold up, I'm not even shining. I had to like do a double take. I was like, Ex excuse me, is that, who was that? I was like, okay. So I was completely impressed. I didn't blot my face a single, you think I'm playing? I didn't blot my face not a single time with this foundation. It is a stay all day foundation. It's a little on the expensive, I almost dropped it. It's a little on the expensive side. It's like 45, 47, I wanna say. Um, I will put a link to where you can find it down below, but it comes with a concealer at the top, which is really, really cool. So you actually get a foundation and a concealer. And it also comes with a little concealer brush with it on the side, which I don't really use. 
The only thing that I don't like about this foundation, you guys, is the applicator. Like, ew, seriously? Why? For like, what is the purpose? But I'm definitely willing to overlook it. I do wish it had a pump. Um, you know, and I might even have a pump in my kit somewhere that I can dig up and just swap for this. But yeah, the applicator, they need to get that together. Other than that, amazing. Totally, totally, totally worth the purchase. Every last cent. My favorite foundation at the moment. And it just looks amazing. Camera ready all day. My new favorite concealer. Um, I want to do a concealer video for you guys because I did like my top foundations for women of color. I'm working on doing that for concealers as well because you guys had asked me for that. So if you if you have a really, really good concealer that you like, preferably for dark skin, obviously, um, let, let me know in the comments down below because I'm looking to try some out some other ones and putting together my little list and I'm going to talk about them for you. So one that I want to add to that list is the NARS Creamy Concealer. Over the years, I haven't really been a fan of liquid concealers just because I feel like creamier concealers are more opaque. You get more coverage with them and they just are more long wearing. But this stuff right here is definitely the exception to the rule. The shade that I used is Amande and it's it's their medium dark three shade. Could not be a more gorgeous highlighted like it's it just looks so creamy it literally lives up to its name radiant and creamy it literally if you were to bottle up some liquid chocolate gold and <laughs> i don't even know what the hell that means if you were to bottle this gold up in a bottle it would look like this i love 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 the shade i don't have any other concealers that look like this sometimes they're either too yellow or gray ashy if they don't know what if a company doesn't know how the hell to formulate for dark skin it's either too ashy or they're a little on the pinker side depending on what brand you are using but this one is like the perfect golden perfect golden undertone i love this concealer i'm going back to get this again when i finish it this bobby brown tinted moisturizer this is probably one of my favorite no makeup tinted moisturizers ever let me tell you whenever Three different times that I've worn this, three different days, three completely different places. I've just had just this on by itself and people will be like, wow, your skin is glowing. It's radiant. And I'm like, really? Whatever. Like, I don't really put much thought into it. And it's very weird because it's not very opaque at all. It's actually the most sheer tinted moisturizer I've ever tried. Little to no coverage. So if you're looking for a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream type of product that has coverage, boo boo this is not the one for you i don't know what it is if it's just the way that it mixes in with my body chemistry or what but i always get so many compliments on my skin whenever i'm wearing this it's beautiful it's not the best at controlling oil but it's something that i'm willing to overlook it's not like you'll be disco ball sweaty but it's just it's a tinted moisturizer you know like what do you expect not a lot of tinted moisturizers really are designed to mattify the skin so like I said, it's something I'm definitely willing to overlook, but I wear this a lot. It has SPF 15, so when you're out and about, you're running errands, you don't feel like putting on a full face of makeup. Definitely, you want some sun protection either way, and I would highly, highly, highly recommend this product. The shade that I use is dark, and um, it will last you a long time if you are light-handed with those type of products like I am. So speaking of Bobbi Brown, the next product that I want to talk about I really, really hate to be that girl that brings up the product that everybody and their mom is talking about, you guys. But honestly, no joke. This product lives up to its hype 100% completely. And I was one of those hot mess people that were scrambling around looking for the Bobbi Brown <laughs> Bronze Glow Highlighter. I saw several YouTubers talking about this product, none of which were of, of dark skin like myself. So they were raving about it. And I like to think that I'm pretty open-minded when it comes to products just because someone who is fair tries a product that doesn't mean that it won't work for me i'll still try it out and i'll still give it a chance like i i feel like i have a pretty good eye of like oh yeah that'll work for dark skin even if someone who is caucasian is talking about it so um i knew i was like oh yeah bobby's bobby's highlighters but hey, hey let's hand clap if you ever have tried any because bobby brown low key though bobby brown doesn't really get raved about too much in the youtube community but for those of you guys that don't remember i started freelancing for her around this time last year actually for the holidays her highlighters are the truth now if you're looking for straight out of the 80s highlighter not all of her highlighters are going to do that but 
This one right here is going to give you color pay off. This thing is so pretty, so pretty. It's like the perfect warm champagne. It's, it is warm. It's definitely a golden warm. It reminds me a lot, actually, dupe alert. I'm going to blow your mind right now. If you cannot find this one, you have to try. You guys have to listen to me when I recommend products because I know what I'm talking about. But the Soul Glow from Magnolia Makeup, maybe you guys haven't really put much thought into it, but that stuff is the truth. And it's pretty close to, like they're almost the exact same. And I think that that's why I like this one because Soul Glow is probably one of my favorite highlighters. You can't find this one, which I highly, highly doubt you will. If you do, definitely grab it. Um, but the Soul Glow from Magnolia Makeup also compares. I will put a link, I got you. I'll put a link in the description box down below. But I did manage to snag three of these. I kept one for myself, of course. And then I snagged two more and I will be giving them away. I haven't really put together any details or anything like that, but I think I'm going to make it an Instagram contest. So Makeup Game on Point on Instagram, follow me there. Uh, it's just gonna be a small little giveaway. I'll probably run it for like a week and then we'll go from there. So. If you don't have it, there is a chance you can win it. Stay tuned. Another highlighter I wanna talk about on the opposite end is more of like a cooler highlight. It's more icy, is the Urban Decay Illuminated Powder. Um, the shade I use is Aura. When you're looking at it, it looks peach. It's definitely not peach when you apply it. It is um, a, a lilac, like a silvery pink, and it looks great with like purple looks. It looks great with pink looks. It's just like perfect. And I think it's great because it's winter, so you know you're gonna see more icier looks. It's hella sparkly. Some people don't like that. I'm really not bothered by it. By the way, the Bobbi Brown, also a lot of people were saying it's super sparkly. I'm a glitter freak. So honestly, I'm not at all bothered by it. If anything, I'm encouraged by it. I'm like more of a fan of it because of the sparkles. Favorite new mascara for the month. I hardly ever let new mascaras into my mascara bubble because I like what I like. And it's like one of those things where it's like, if, if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. Mascaras are the one thing that I'm like, oh no, no I got this. But I was, I recently went to Ulta and I picked up the Mali like essentials pack or whatever. It came with the face defender, which is amazing. I raved about that in another video. And it came with the mascara, it came with the shadow stick, it came with her liner, and I think that was it. This mascara, this mascara baby, perfect for volumizing. It adds length, it thickens. This is an amazing mascara. I'm so glad that I, because when I first tried it, you know, I was telling you guys how it was too new, it was too wet, and I, I felt like I was going to like it, but I just needed to give it like a week to dry out just a little bit, which is really what can be said about most mascaras when they're new. They're not that great most of the time because there's just way too much product. This is a mascara I will be repurchasing again. This with Dior Show is magic. Ma maybe you don't, maybe you, y'all don't hear me gorgeous like my lashes look off the chain and i know that you guys kind of find it hard to believe that i could probably just put on any mascara and it would just look phenomenal no not at all i'm looking at my table because i think oh no i have fragrances fragrance i wanted to get the beauty stuff out of the way but i've been wearing pink sugar for years for years and when it comes to fragrance i don't like change so when i find something that i really really like i stick with it I talked about this recently in my haul video, but I've been wearing A Thousand Wishes from Bath & Body Works religiously with my pink sugar because I can't quite let go of it yet. And it smells amazing. I actually get, the few times that I've worn this fragrance on its own, I get more compliments on that than I do pink sugar, which makes me sad because I do love the way pink sugar smells. But that has been my fragrance of the season, honey. Yay! And candle of the season if you haven't already figured it out because i talked about it in my haul video and i've talked about it in several other videos but this pumpkin pecan waffles this is about the 15th one i've purchased in the past three months it smells so good. oh my god it smells so good so good i don't care if i'm a youtube cliche yes everybody and their mama on youtube videos burns their candles in the background you don't see them when i'm doing my tutorials but they're back there burning they smell so good even when i'm not burning these candles people walk into my house uh and they are like it smells like pecan in here it smells like you know like waffles and stuff and i'm just like okay cool i've heard several people compare the bath and body works candles to the ones from like walmart and target they 
are not the same. I know it's a nice gesture to think that price wise it would save you money. I wish they were the same because yeah, I would love to buy cheaper candles, but they're not. I noticed that the, um, the burning time I feel like it's probably about the same, but these smell amazing when they're not burned. Like the, the fragrance, you can still smell the fragrance. This is a good quality candle and um, yeah, I love them. I love them. This is my favorite candle of the season. That is officially the end of my favorites video. I had so much fun. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I really feel like I'm just sitting in front of my girlfriends talking about my favorite products. I'm actually pretty excited and really eager to see this year come out with a bang and onto new ventures, onto new projects, onto new products. And yeah, just let me know what you guys think and what you guys' favorites are if you have any for this month, for last month, I should say. Um, anything I need to check out. Don't forget about those concealers. I want to know your favorite concealers, guys. Leave them down in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you at the next video. Bye.